up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you watched my video last week, yes, I am wearing the same shirt because I started this video the same time I filmed last week's video. Anyway, so for this week's video, I wanted to test a couple of clean beauty products that I got from YesStyle. So thank you YesStyle for sponsoring today's video. So what I received in my package is this ultra low molecular hyaluronic acid toner from its tree sounds like it's really good for dry skin and that's really perfect for me because i have very dry skin oh this is so cute okay so the next thing i got is this p lab ac clear moisture sica cream and this is supposed to be good for for sensitive skin cause of frequent skin problems and harmful external factors. It says neat and fresh moisturizing cream for oily and complex skin that soothes skin irritation. So I am a little worried about this one because I don't have oily skin, but I'm gonna test it anyways. This is clean beauty, clean earth. This is how the package inside looks. I think it looks really cute. I've been seeing a lot of beauty products lately that are in bottles that look like this. The earth is happy. <laughs> I think she's catching a bug Because <laughs> in this house, we're all afraid of bugs And the only thing we do when we see like spiders and stuff are we vacuum it Anyways, while she does that Next thing in the package is this Galactomyces Oh, uh, I forgot how to read that I should know it Uh, Yeah, Glow Serum Mask Anyways, this is from Some By Me It's also a Korean product and I'm actually very excited to use this because it says it's a glow serum mask that brightens the skin and smooths the skin. That's like a lot of the products I've been using lately is brightening and smoothing the skin. Next thing is this Sarah Barrier Soothing Ampli by Wish Trend. Anyways, I still haven't learned how to say that word, so laugh at me if you want. Anyways, I have one. It's like another like a barrier thing. So I'm like, I'm not worried about using this one. I'm actually excited to try this one because I used up half my bottle for the other one. I don't know. I have hopes for this. And then I have this one, a new Heart Leaf Silky Moisturizing Sun Cream. This is how the inside looks. Basically just looks like this, but here. It smells good. Okay, so I think what I'm going to also do is besides using these morning and night routine only I'm also gonna try to test these under foundation under makeup basically this is because I use two different sets of skincare products because my morning and night routine ones they might just be too thick and they don't like they don't hold when the makeup is like being applied but I think either way these are going to be really good and I look forward to seeing how my skin's going to change throughout the week Okay, so this is gonna be day one of using all these products, and this is how my skin looks now. And I just woke up, I'm so tired. It's not too bad today, so I'm gonna start with the toner. It's still new. I'm very lazy and stuff, so I don't use like, ooh, I don't use cotton pads or anything, but I use a lot. I'm not gonna lie, it smells a little bit like coconut water, but I don't think there's coconut in here. Okay, next one. This one I think is a squeeze bottle. I'm gonna use two pumps. It also smells like coconut. Do I just smell like coconut? <laughs> I'm very lazy once again. They feel very light so far. They're like not sticky or like, they don't feel sticky or oily. They feel very moisturizing. And then the next one I'm gonna use is their cream. This better not smell like coconut again. Nope. This smells a little bit like, uh, it's very leafy. It almost reminds me of like eucalyptus. I used way too much. So for this one, you don't need that much. I squeezed a normal amount for me and it seems like it's still too much. But it feels very refreshing. Slightly, I don't want to say minty, but it has like a very slight cooling effect. It's not, it's not strong. It's like very, very light. I used way too much product, but like literally it's like not sticky or like not thick or anything. So if you use too much, just use a little bit of time to kind of just massage into your skin and it actually absorbs really, really well. So far, I really like all three of these. I'm going to try this Heart Leaf Silky Moisture Sunscreen. And this one I don't think has a seal, so dime size. This one is SPF 50 plus and PA 4 plus. So it's really good for outdoors. If you want to get your neck, you might want to use a little more. So far, all these products feel very light, 
fast absorbing. So this is day one. I'm gonna keep using it for the rest of the seven days and I'm not gonna film every single one like I said, but I will update you the day I use the mask, which is maybe like day three or day four. And then I will most likely update on day six and day seven. Okay, so today I am going to test these products under makeup and just make sure that they stay well with the base and everything because sometimes certain products, they kind of just don't, they don't stay well. I'm just gonna apply everything like I normally do in the morning and at night. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm still gonna need a primer, I'm pretty sure, like for dry skin because my skin is that dry when I put on makeup. So I kind of lost track of what day it is, but it's like day four or day five right now. And um, overall, it's like really good. I haven't felt like my skin's been really dry or it hasn't been really oily. I will most likely use the face mask tonight after the makeup. Okay, so now that skincare is done, with the last step being sunscreen, I'm gonna go ahead and just do what I usually do for my makeup. Okay, so now the base is done, and um, honestly, it looks really good. So it's safe to say all these products here will work really, really well under your makeup, and you don't have to worry about it, like, kind of, I don't, I don't know how to say it, but it's like, if you rub it, it's not gonna like turn into eraser shaving. So I'm just gonna go and finish the rest of my makeup. Okay, so this is my final look. It doesn't look that strong on the camera, but there is uh, everything on my face now. So in conclusion, these products work well under makeup. Final bit of this video is going to be this face mask. I'm going to, it says 10 to 15, uh, 10 to 20 minutes. I'm just gonna leave it on for maybe 15 minutes. I kinda lost track of time. I think it's been like 15 or 20 minutes. So I took it off and I'm actually gonna do what I usually do. I like to wash my face after because I don't like having all the residue on my face. And then I'm gonna finish off with the products once again. While I do this, I'm just gonna say my face feels, um, it's really cold right now because the mask is really cold itself when I put it on. My face right now feels very soft. I am pretty happy with how my face looks right now. But it's definitely very um, moisturized. I haven't had any pimples. I haven't peeled. It worked very well under makeup as well, so I definitely recommend it. So you don't have to use two different sets of skincare, basically. This is the last part of the video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that you might have found this video helpful if you are looking for some clean beauty products. These are all available on YesStyle. I will have all the links down below. If you liked the video, don't forget to drop a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.